For this video, I'll be working through question one of the level two 2017 waves exam. Question one. Sarah placed a candle in front of a concave mirror, draw two rays from the candle slash object to locate the position of the image. Draw and label the image. So it's a mirror, we'll just quickly underline that. And for this exam, you're gonna need a ruler. So this is a concave mirror, so we're gonna go in parallel. There's a terrible ruler. And out through the focal point. Line that up. And now we're gonna go in through the focal point. We can do it there, it's a pretty hefty focal point. And out parallel. Here's our object. It is, we'll just shift this across. Inverted, real because it's in front of the mirror, and as you can see, it's slightly enlarged. One last thing I need to do, put arrows on my rays just to show the direction that they're going in. Sweet, and you can do one last ray. This is always a tricky one to do. If you go in at the apex of the mirror, if you can see there's the apex right there, in at the apex, whatever angle you came in at, you go out at the angle, although that's kind of hard to do. So you can normally do that last, and you put arrows on that, arrows on that. Question one, done. The candle, which has height of 20 centimeters, is placed 140 centimeters in front of a concave mirror. The mirror has a fixed focal length of that. Calculate the height of the image formed. So what we're gonna try and find is HI equals question mark. That's what I'm trying to find. I have HO is equal to 0 0.20 meters, because I do everything in meters. Um, the distance, DO, so this is 140 centimeters from the concave mirror, so that's the distance to the object. DO is equal to 1.40 meters. Notice everything is in, well that's three, that's four SF. That's three SF, um, that's three SF right there. So what do we need? We are trying to find HI, and the only formula that you can use for that, so this, you've got a few formulas, DI, over DO is equal to HI over HO, which is equal to M. So what we're probably gonna to have to find is D, uh, DI, because we have DO, we have HO. To find HI, we need DI in order to find that. And we also have the focal point up there, F equals 0.8 meters. So we have on the formula sheet, one over F is equal to one over DO plus one over DI. Side note, this is like a backwards Cartesian coordinate system. If I go up there, across there, this is the positive x direction. X direction. If you can't really see that, it's meant to be the negative x direction over here. That's a terrible way, so I'll just cross it out, put it over here. Negative x direction. So anything on this side of the mirror, if you've got an image on this side of the mirror, it's negative. So all the values would be negative. If the focal point is on this side of the mirror, that would be a negative focal point. Everything on this side is positive, everything on that side is negative. So for this question, just so happens, everything will be positive just because that's what... Well, you can get virtual images if the object's in front of the focal point, but let's just not worry about that for now. So now we need to find DI. DI equals question mark in order to find HI, which is what we're looking for. So we need to rearrange. DI is equal to, remove that DO over the other side. So we go one over F minus one over DO. Put brackets around that. To invert DI, you just to the power, you can go one divided by to flip it, and that'll flip this DI round once it's on the other side. If you don't know how to do this algebra, go ask a math teacher because you should know how to do it by now. Right, that, once you plug it into the calculator, gives you 1.87 meters. Now we have simply to plug it in, or well, we need to rearrange for HI, which is fairly simple. We'll just move times both sides by HO. That'll move that HO up, so we're gonna get HI is equal to 0 0.2, because that's HO. Oh, I'll put the algebra first. HO times 
di over do, which is going to be equal to 0 0.2 times, what is di? Di is 1.87 over 1.40 equals height of the image, 0 0.267 meters. And we'll just do the sniff test. That image, where is it? Here, needs to be bigger than that. 267, 0 0.267 is larger than, that. this is 26 centimetres, that is 20 centimetres. Right, next question. Sierra then puts the same 20 centimetre tall candle at the same 140 centimetre distance in front of the convex mirror, which is the focal length of that, 80 centimetres. The images formed by the concave mirrors, concave and convex mirrors are different. Are different. Describe two differences in the images formed and explain why these differences occurred. No, occur. No calculations are necessary. So I'm going to pause the video, write the answer, and then I'll discuss. So I've said concave mirrors forms. Oh, the concave mirror forms an inverted real and enlarged image when an object is placed behind. Just shuffle this over. The focal point, the convex mirror forms an upright virtual and diminishing image. The conv convex mirrors are diverging mirrors, which means they means the reflected rays never meet. Thus, backtracking the rays, they appear to meet behind the mirror. Thus, the image cannot be projected and is virtual. Concave mirrors are converging mirrors, which means when an object is placed behind the focal point, the rays meet forming an image. When I mean behind the focal point, I mean if you have a concave mirror here and you place the object between the focal point and the mirror, you'll actually get a virtual image um, because the rays will never meet, um, which is kind of a neat thing. You can also, there's lots of ways you can answer this question. Um, I've just talked about the, the difference between the real and the, and the virtual. Um, you can talk about, talk about inverted and uh, upright with a concave mirror. If the object is in front of the focal point, the rays will always meet below the uh, the mirror, uh, or below the axis, which will give you an always an inverted um, image. And convex mirrors, you'll always get a diminished upright image because you always backtrack the rays, um, no matter what, behind the behind the lens, because the focal point is a virtual focal point, or I suppose virtual, um, yeah, behind the lens. Right, we'll jump on to the next one. Um, the same 20 centimetre tall candle is again placed in front of the first concave mirror of focal point 80 centimetres. The candle is moved until the image is upright and three times the size of the object. Describe the nature of the image. So like I said just before, if you're behind the focal point, if that's to say behind is what it is, um, you always get an inverted um, image, if you're in front of the focal point, you will get an upright image if this is a concave. So we already know if it's between here and here, you're going to get an upright and that's going to be virtual. So I can tell you straight off the bat, describe the nature of this image, virtual, virtual, sweet. Calculate the distance the candle object, candle such object, is away from the mirror. So what we're looking for is D O. Is that what we're trying to find? Yes, yes it is. So D O equals question mark. The focal point is, what is the focal point? 0 0.8 meters. The height of the object is again 0 0.2 meters. What else have we got? Um, it's three times the size, the image is three times the size of the object, so we've got the magnification is equal to three. Um, and I think that's really about all we need. So in order to find this, what we need to do is, what do we need to do? We have the focal point, we're trying to find DO, so we probably want to find DI, whatever that happens to be. So di, we'll just cross that out actually. How are we going to do this? Oh, I know. Hi over ho equals di over do equals a magnification. And so we can move, we have the magnification. 
we have we don't have di but we'll just leave that there for now one over the focal point equals one over do plus one over di what we could do is we could get rid of the di and substitute it in for do if we could rearrange this algebraically knowing that m equals three so we can move the do up so we're going to have let's write it down here di is equal to three do ah so this is once we've got here we could easily just substitute in three do into here we'd get one over do plus one over three do would give us I don't know what they would give us, I'll do the fractions later on, but we have a problem. Distance to the image, like I said before, is negative because we're now on the negative side of that inverted Cartesian coordinate system. So di is negative because it's behind the mirror. So what we should do is, but di here is positive, so we'll times both sides by negative one. So we'll make that positive and make that negative because here the di is positive. So now we have a bit of a, not so much tricky algebra, but here we go, one over do plus one over minus three do. So I'll just scrub that out and that's a negative and I'll make that a plus just so it's easier mathematically. So now we have one third, oh no, what do we have? We have one whole minus a third. So that is gonna give us Two thirds do because that's a whole one over do minus a third gives us two thirds left. And now what we should do is we'll move the do up. On, so we'll move the do up on that side and the f up on that side. So we're going to get do is equal to two over three f, which is equal to two over three times zero point eight which is equal to 0 0.533 metres. This is quite a tricky algebra question. So you just really got to muddle around with it until it all fits.